Oh, what are these matchups, bro? Osama bin La. Pablo clear of. It is say you're blocked. See <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> What are you doing, Josh? <laughs> this is out of context. This is out of context. This is out of context. <laughs> Let's get into the oral fufu chat. Let's get it. Odell Beckham Jr. J. Cole. I'm giving it to OBJ. Me personally. Obviously, J. Cole career wise clears OBJs in my opinion. But if we're talking aura, bro, OBJ got it, bro. Poe says J. Cole. Poe got it 55 46. J. Cole won. Hold on. Let me let me get some real opinions in here. Jeremy! Who has more aura? J. Cole or Odell Beckham Jr.? Bro, come on, bro. What is that question, bro? That's not wait, who has more? Odell. That's what I'm saying, bro. bro who, Odell who, has. Who, who said J. Cole got more bro, the the poll voted like 51 to 49 percent, bro. I got I veto it, bro. bro come here, come here, come here, Jordan. Come here, Jordan. Who has more aura, J. Cole or Odell Beckham? Definitely Odell. I'm sorry. And he likes J. Cole. Jordan likes J. Cole, and he said Odell, bro. No, no I like Odell Cole. more than J. Cole. I'm not gonna lie to you. Bro. Wait, why? One hand. You don't like Odell. J. Cole? Bro, one hand. Okay, but Odell. you you don't like J. Cole though? Josh. Now, I like J. Cole more than I like Odell, but Odell has more I mean, aura. I like J. Cole more than Odell, but, bro, it's not even a disrespect yeah, to J. Cole, like, bro, bro, bro. Odell about? got more aura. Odell got aura. Odell got aura. I go, I'm going to Odell, bro. Hair? Like, no. Odell, he changed the game when it comes to Nick. Yeah. Oh, this was dead ass. was dead ass dyeing their hair because no, 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 of this. Yeah, and then, you know, Odell, Odell I, fade too. Like, there could be an argument Odell might be OG aura. Yeah. Oh, like, Odell is one of, yeah, Odell is one of the OG, OG crispy... Sports. That is Cole sexy too. Like, J. Cole has no aura. He looks yeah, homeless. J no disrespect, J. Cole. I love you. I love you. I'm going to Odell gang. Madison Beer, Queen Elizabeth the second. Let me call K on up for this one. Got a question, Gangy? What's up? Who has more aura? Queen Elizabeth the second or Madison Beer? <laughs> the reason why you called me? Oh no, it's, it's a tough one. I'm just I'm just stuck. But but like is there is there a reason you called me specifically? Yeah, because I was looking for Call, I see you're the last person that called me tight. So you, so you haven't called anybody else, just me. Yeah. And, you, and, and all due respect, right? This is about your, right? aura. It's about aura. You see both on the street. Oh my god. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. The mass and clears. I, ain't lie. I bet. Yeah, I know. I know you. I know. Yeah, I know, nigga. I know. I know. Madison Beer be looking like this, bro. Like on a like, this is a good ass flick, bro. Like this is no, no, no. She look like this. All no, I didn't mean to call you. I didn't mean how much you call me on me. So are Ted Bundy, bro. Ain't Ted Bundy that serial killer, bro? I'm not gonna lie. It's Ted Bundy gang. So was a goat, but I, he wasn't a goat for his or like I didn't, I didn't care. Like, like you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't given like aura gangy. It wasn't like an aura thing for me. It was just a funny ass thing to me, bro. It might be this. Name. El Chapo? Oh my god. No, wait, is this our goat? Is this our goat? Kickboxing? No, this is a bad matchup. No, no, no. Yeah. Listen, you are my goat, but you're going up against one of the, like, you're going up against a scary ass. Yeah, well, you would, yeah, like, come on, so bro. I'm sorry, I gotta go El Chapo, bro. Oda or the under? Come on, chat. I'm sorry. These Japanese riders have no. I'm sorry. They, they don't got aura, bro. I'm going Undertaker and I'm not pulling it. Marshawn Lynch or Michael Jordan, bro? Bruce Lee or Rihanna? Oh my god, this needs to be pulled. Rihanna has a. I was never the one to be feeling over how pretty Rihanna looked, cause I didn't think she was the most like. But she had, or she has aura to me. Rihanna at seventeen percent, Bruce Lee at eighty three. We're giving it to Bruce Lee over Rihanna. Chat, YouTube comments. You agree with this? I something about Rihanna. She emits hella aura to me. I don't know, bro. Jimmy Butler, Vanessa Hudge. Vanessa Hudge has no aura right now. Oh my gosh, she has no aura. She has lost all, but in her prime. That was my really first celebrity crush. I love Vanessa Hudgens. Hemi. Hemi is him. Vladimir Putin. Miyato Mushashi. Did you know there were many legendary swordsmen in the world's history? But they all pale in comparison to the most badass, Miyamoto Musashi, who was born in the village of Japan. He was basically lone samurai warrior who developed his own style of swordsmanship, which utilizes two swords. 
and he was the most renowned for his incredible prowess in battle fighting 61 duels in his life, and losing none of them. Many people would call him a ronin, which means he didn't have a master. At 13 Musashi had his first duel with a passing warrior named Arima Kihei, who challenged local swordsman Musashi, knocked him down with long stick, and killed him with many blows, but to prove his greatness, he cited on the most famous school of swordsmanship, located in Kyoto. Musashi challenged Seijuro head of the Yoshioka clan to a duel at Rendaiji temple. Musashi arrived late which made him angry, and they fought with wooden swords. Musashi quickly struck Seijuro by breaking his arm. His brother Denchichiro sought to regain their honor and challenged Musashi to a deadly duel, but he killed him also with a single blow to the head. Then 12-year-old leader Matashichiro challenged him to a duel at night. Suspecting a trap Musashi arrived early and hid. He surprised everyone by suddenly cutting through the crowd to kill Matashichiro. In some versions he also fought and defeated a large number of warriors who were there to ambush him possibly as many as 70. This marked the end of the Yoshioka school and inspired Musashi's two-sword style known as Niten Ichiryu. But his greatest battle was yet to come when he was challenged by the feared warrior Sasaki Kojiro, known as the demon of the western provinces and a master of the Nodachi sword. Musashi armed only with a wooden sword and provoked Kojiro to make the first attack, but he dodged and killed him with one blow on his head. He has a manga? This is a real human being? They have a statue of this nigga, bro. Pull in on this nigga! Let's go! <laughs> Why is everybody spamming pull in? Wait, pull up, let me see. It's close, pull in 53%. Miyamoto, 49%. 51, 49! 51, 49! 50, 50! Do you think Mark from REC knows who Miyamoto is? Hello? Hey, beanhead ass nigga. I'm on stream, I have a question. Do you know? Hey man, right, that's not, hey, that's not how you talk to me. Uh, okay. hey, that, uh, hey, Mark, do you know the swordsman, the legendary swordsman, Miyamoto Mushashi? The legendary swordsman, Miyamoto. This nigga. It was the manga. They made a manga of him called Vagabond. Okay, I heard of that manga. Yeah, what about him? GG, never mind. We're trying to figure out who has more aura. Pull in or that nigga. And we don't know that the chat said 50-50, bro. Who has more aura, though? Yeah. Hey, if I'm, man, I'm going to say, look, look, any legendary samurai got more aura, bro. Really? Aura? Yo. Come on, nigga. Chew. Are you saying that because, like, you be getting fucked by anime every day? Bro, this nigga is fucking crazy. That's why I'm going Vladimir Putin. Suck my dick. I'm sorry. Bad Bunny... Fuck out of here. Prince Kylie Jenner. Prince. Pot smoke Barack Obama. Obama had that shit. I go cap. That nigga shit timeless. I go cap, bruh. Floyd Mayweather, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga's voice and music is amazing. But Floyd's like, Floyd got aura, bruh. Pull up. Let me see. Pull up. Yeah, I like these polls. Good shit. Kendrick Lamar, Kim Jong- <laughs> Yo. <laughs> K-Dot, this ain't Drake. I'm going Kim Jong-un, though. Kanye, George Washington. <laughs> bro, what the fuck, bro? Don't, no recency bias. Think about the money, us. One dollar bill? Yay, got it. Bro. Pull up, bro. George Washington is winning the poll 56%. To Kanye, 44%, bro. Mind you, this is not... It's just an aura thing, bro. Yes, I know. I, Kanye, my, I love Kanye, too, bro. This nigga actually looks kind of sharp. I ain't gonna cap. He do got a wizard wand, though. That's kind of comfy. Slave owner? I know. Using that to his advantage. Kanye ain't got no slaves. It's tough. It's tough. Oh, my. Tom Cruise, John Lennon. Who y'all got? Tom Cruise? Robert Downey Jr. Michael P. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, listen. Not who's a better actor. Who has more aura? Not the better actor. Now, whose character you like more in acting? More aura. You seen them both on the street. Who do you think is more like, oh, my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're not even saying Robert Downey. Niggas are saying Iron Man, bro. You're thinking about Iron Man. I ain't gonna lie this fast, bro. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You are Iron Man, bro. I can't even go. Listen, Dempson. Snowfall is one of my favorite shows of all time. But I met LeBron James, bro. I was at Bonnie birthday party a year ago, bro. I felt... I was there feeling that feeling 
when chat no glaze no glaze the first thing i noticed wasn't even him physically i was talking to someone but then I, I just smell something like that shit smells good bro chat on my life i'm talking to someone like this i see like a sh everything is darker around me like a shadow casted above me like the clouds went above me i look up and it's lebron leaning over me reaching over to brawny he's like oh what's good and i'm just like this I've never felt, I swear to God, I never felt, I, I, I never felt that, I'm not even glazing, I swear to God, I, if I'm lying, God, try, I promise you, it was like a cloud came on, I'm just like, bone chilling, not capping, Idris, you got cleared 100-0%, I'm not gonna lie, cleared, Pablo Escobar, Angelina Jolie, Pablo Escobar, fuck out of here, Simo Haya, the white death, Stan Lee. When the deadliest sniper in history took down over 500 enemy combatants in less than 100 days, the rumor began what? to spread that he was invisible. When the shy teenager first entered into the Finnish military, he was initially assigned to the bicycle battalion. But when World War II broke out, the young championship marksman was sent with his rifle to the front line. Dressed in all white camouflage, the five foot three soldier became the terror of the Soviets during the Winter War. While lying in densely packed snow pits from dawn till dusk to conceal his hot breath in the cold air, he even filled his mouth full of snow. Wanting to prevent the glint off his scope from being spotted in the sun, he used only iron sights and was able to hit a small target 500 feet away 16 times in under a minute, using only his five-shot bolt-action rifle. As the legend of his exploits grew, the Finns gave him the nickname the Magic Shot, but the Russians referred to him only as the White Death. But on his 96th day of deployment, he was struck square in the jaw with an exploding bullet, and appearing to be deceased, was placed on a pile of bodies and left for dead. But when his friend went looking for him and spotted his leg twitching, he was evacuated from the battlefield. And despite missing half his face and requiring 26 surgeries, he made a full recovery, regaining con consciousness a week later. By then, the rumors of his passing had spread so far and wide that he read about his own death in a newspaper and sent them a letter to correct the misunderstanding. When you're so terrifying you can make the Russians afraid of winter, they don't just call you the White Death. They call you Simo Halha. That's calm. That, that's calm. He lost when a big, the a big from the portion of his aura after, 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 you know what I'm saying? Face my missing and all. That's, that's, that's tough, my boy. You ugly as shit. But like, you're him. You're him. He's him. You got a nation celebrating your death, thinking you're dead? The White Death. Bro, that's crazy, bro. The White Death beat Stan Lee. Damian Lillard, Elon Musk. What the fuck, bro? Why is Damon here, bro? Elon has done more for the world than... Damien Lillard has, right? I have his Cybertruck in my front lawn. But does he have aura? Hold on. Bro, damn, you about to lose to a nigga with the worst dad bod of all time, bro. We need you We need you to get a ring, bro. We got Elon Musk beating Damien Lillard over aura. Beyonce Elvis. Oh, my. Look, bro. Let me put it to you this way. I felt Nicki Minaj aura in person. I feel like the only person that could, only woman that can compare to Nicki Minaj Oro would be Beyonce, bro. Bro, we going Elvis, bro. Elvis was him, of course. Some of my favorite songs of all time is from Elvis. But Beyonce is Beyonce, bro. Beyonce, like, damn, they're perfect to me, bro. I don't know, bro. Y'all, y'all got, y'all gas it. Elvis was him. But that nigga, come on, bro. He died on the toilet. Fuck no, he shouldn't win. <laughs> The Rock, David Bowie. I'm giving it to this juice head, bro. Messi, Christopher Columbus. This nigga was ugly as shit. Fucking colonizer. Osama bin La... Listen, 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 before we go Osama, before we go Osama, bro. It was Barack Obama, first day out this motherfucker. Zoom, 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 got that motherfucker, bro. Obama cleared that nigga, bro. He changed airports. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> hey, it. It's facts, though. Yo, bro, I thought it, I thought it was the government. I thought it was the government that did 9-11, wasn't it? Well, remember, y'all do Sneeko. Y'all watch Sneeko, it was the government, wasn't it the government? 
Was it the United States government? It was AI. Oh, so now it was Bin Laden when it, when it fits your narrative, huh? Think about that. Conor McGregor. Oh, hold on, chat. Listen, Randy Orton, you just do not know, nigga. I know Conor McGregor. About it, but, but, bro, y'all about to. I'm about to get tight by the pole. Pull up. Y'all are culture? Let's clap it up for YG. I'll be forgetting y'all not a little kid. Let's clap it up for YG, bro. Thank you. Dear Lord, I would have vetoed y'all anyway. Jay-Z, Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Jay-Z is a goat in our black community, right? <laughs> Leo got aura, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Francis, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, my. Okay, Francis. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Marilyn Monroe, she her, right? But look, listen, listen. <laughs> this nigga, like, bro. Bro, chat, listen, physically, oh, yeah, GG, I don't even know why I'm trying to fight this case here. <laughs> R.I.P. Yankee. But I was there when I felt my toes shaking. I didn't even know toes could shake. You know toes could shake? My toes were shaking when I met this woman. I've never dropped down to my knee for a woman in my life. In my life. I got down on one knee like I was about to propose to this woman. R.I.P. though, gangy. Man, get the f- Bro, I'm giving it Alberta, bro. Justin don't got no order to me. I'm going to Alberta. Alberta, him, bro. Charles Manson, Shakespeare. Oh, Shakespeare. Chat, chat, chat. Listen, listen. What, this is going to be- Fuck Shakespeare. Fuck English class. Charles had bitches committed mass suicide. Bro, this nigga literally created bars. You understand me? I didn't even mean to click him, but whatever. He literally created- <laughs> John Morant? Julius Caesar. Ja, ja got oral. His thug ass. His little gangster thug ass. You know what I'm saying? But it's Julius Caesar, bro. This is different. This, this, no, okay, okay, this is tough. Listen, it's not tough at all, actually, because Ray Mysterio is my goat. I'm sorry, Kai. Ray Mysterio is my goat. Boyaka, boyaka! Jeff Hardy, Tony Hawk. Oh, my. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Chad, I might go, Tony. <laughs> Tony was my goal. Jeff Hardy is him, though. Right, there's no right. I, Tony, Tony Hawk just by Tony. I, I got I got Tony Hawk bias, bro. Jeff Hardy's in, but Tony, bro. Chat, I want you to really remember peak Tony Hawk, bro. Like everybody on the planet knew this nigga's name, and he was just a skateboarder, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, hold on. Best Drake music video. We need some hard shit though. Something that makes them look hard. Gives them more aura. Not some soft shit. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I'm a hard hitter. Yeah, I'm light skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. So, with all that being said, ball, reball. GG. Uh, bro, Drake, how do I play your music videos and your aura dropped? Oh my god, Kane was him, but it's Ronaldo, GG's. Listen, fuck. Why you got horny? Listen, oh fuck ISIS, damn ISIS. Ronaldino was like, like, that, watching that nigga play, when them niggas show me his highlights, I thought that nigga was the GOAT, bruh. I ain't even gonna cap. The way this nigga was moving was different, bruh. I'm sorry, ISIS. This is bad, bro. This is this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Pull up, bro. Tyson beats Stalin. Let's try to get him some Stalin context. I, I I'd probably have him beat him too. But Joseph Stalin does not get enough hate. <laughs> sure, he helped defeat the Nazis in World War II. But before he did that, he was in a pact with Hitler so that he could gain control over a large portion of Eastern Europe. Stalin was super paranoid and caused a great purge in the Communist Party, executing a large majority of the highest ranking members. He encouraged friends and family members to turn each other into the secret police, resulting in over 10 million people being sent to the Gulag labor camps in the 1930s and 40s. And at least 10% of those people were killed during their time there. But the largest human catastrophe caused by Stalin was the Great Famine, in which 5 million people died over a few years. Stalin specifically targeted the Ukrainian people, resulting in over 3 million Ukrainian deaths. So, again I say... Bro, did he create the OG Gulet? Yo, that nigga did get sent to... 
Oh, let's keep moving because every oh, shot. Oh, Uppercut landed inside and Spinks went down. And that is the first time Michael Spinks has ever been down in a professional fight. Oh, and he's down again and in serious trouble. A right hand right on the chin. Six, seven, eight. He's not going to make it. It's all over. <laughs> Run again his ass tooted. Bro chat, who we going, bro? Mike Tyson beat Stalin! Mr. Beast, I love you, but Zendaya, if I seen Mr. Beast on the street, I'll just say what's up. I see Zendaya on the street, I'm staring like a creep. I might like like I'm not, I'm not trying to be creepy, but I just know I'm gonna be staring my boy. Like that's just what's gonna happen, gang. Like I'm gonna be. I'm not staring at fucking Mr. Beast, bro. I'm be like this. We goes in there here. Listen, don't do a poll yet. Listen, <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell I'm supposed to do against this? What am I supposed to do against the real goat? Jesus Christ, bro! Is he cooking me, bro? Yes, yo, bro. I'm cooked. The Most High is cooking me, bro. We going, we going. Jesus Christ here. If this was anybody else, we would go with me. But it's Jesus Christ. It's the goat, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, <laughs> come on, bro. We gotta fuck with Abraham. You know what I'm saying? Keanu Reeves. I'm sorry. This is a tough matchup because you're going against Abraham Lincoln. I give Keanu. A, whoa, come on, bro. My dog free. Just like, come on, man. My, my boy, come on, man. He him. You giving it to Keanu? Abe got caught lacking. This nigga would be owning one of us if it wasn't for this nigga, bro. Pull up, bro. Who you going? They got Lincoln clearing this nigga. Jesus Christ. Genghis Khan or John Cena? Give us some Genghis lore, bro. You thought the Roman Empire was interesting? Wait till you hear about the Mongols. The Mongols conquered over 9 million square miles, making it the largest contiguous empire in world history. Their leader, Genghis Khan, has roughly 16 million living descendants today. It's estimated that roughly 8% of Asian men are related to him. His empire was responsible for 40 million deaths, which was 10% of the world's population at that time. When conquering China, he arrived at Beijing to find walls. Walls that he knew it would be unwise to go through, so he camped. He remarked, I had trained my men to attack with the speed of the wind. Now they must have the guile of a wolf. He surrounded the city for so long that thousands starved within its walls. The survivors resorted to cannibalism. Still he waited till the time came when he attacked and slaughtered everyone in his way. A year after the siege, visiting ambassadors remarked that the streets were slippery with human fat and a mountain of bones lie outside the walls. Now despite his utterly brutal reign, Genghis Khan actually welcomed enemies to join his ranks. Some of his most trusted generals were former enemies. Khan allegedly preferred to win battles without striking a single blow. Before pillaging a land, he would offer his opponents to set their pride aside and join his empire. And surprisingly, hey, Khan decreed religious Rage. freedom. Not even close. I'm sorry, John Cena. I wish you said Joker. I wish you put Joker, not just Heath Ledger. I wish you put Joker, but MLK is my GOAT. Think about Prime D-Rose, by the way, Chad. Prime D-Rose. Bro, Denzel is literally my favorite actor of all time, bro. D-Rose. I am now about five, four years older than you were when you tore your ACL and shit just hasn't been the same. That's how much I've been loving you. I'm now four years older than what your age you were. Meanwhile, back then, I was a freshman in high school. <sighs> I gotta go, Denzel. D-Rose, you're my goat. You'll forever have a place in your heart, my heart. But it's sad that I had to accept that you were, you're a memory. For the most part, you were meant for a peak time in my life. You were at a moment in my life, but that moment was short-lived. I fought years. I stressed hard for you. I know you tried. You tried, but your body just wouldn't give. You're still getting injured to this day. You're having little injuries, bro. Little minor injuries and shit that would cause you to miss every game damn near. I don't know if your heart's not in it anymore, but you've given me depression. I know it's not your fault, but loving you gave me depression. And you'll forever be my favorite NBA player of all time. But Denzel, don't play with me, nigga. Let me see this poll. Don't play with me. Uzi's up 53%. What's the most viewed Uzi song of all time? Hit, does he have a biller? It's not even him. He's a, that's a feature. 1.2 bill. That's a feature, bro. 
His song is 500 million. Come on, man. A solo song is almost at a billion. No features. A solo song, bro. This nigga edged out by 1%. <laughs> Ah, Juicy Uzi, Kishimoto Mashi. Who the hell is this? Naruto. Bro, none of these writers have oral. They're all geeks. They're all gay. Tom. Oh, boy. <laughs> How? We, yo, D Dimaje wanted a stream, like two YouTubers and two streamers to go get. No, that's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. No way, I was thinking of removing DDG yesterday, LMAO. This is the cope all the DEO go to. He was drunk in the call. This is the code. This is the reason why, man, that's the, this is the reason why niggas think shit fell out because of this nigga. <laughs> when it's nowhere near that. Niggas was good after that. That's the cope though, that's the cope. Pull up, who y'all got? I've met both in person, so I know the answer, but I'm gonna let chat decide. You know, I know what chat's gonna say though. I know what chat's gonna say already. Oh, Paul got Bruce winning. Bro, I wish more streamers, YouTubers are going up against each other. Oh, but realistically, it's Wayne. Realistically, it's Lil Wayne. But I'm also not mad at niggas that say future because future do got aura. Bro, no way these niggas got future. We lost the plot, bro. Uh oh, wait, hold on. It's tied up. Hold on. 50. Oh, my God. Don't move me another 50 50, bro. Uh oh. Wayne Athen is in the lead. 53 to 40. Oh, yeah. Lil Wayne about to win the poll. Wayne won that. Who the f? I don't know who this is. Who is Desmond? Desmond Doss, the real Hacksaw Ridge soldier who saved 75 souls. Desmond Doss is credited with saving 75 soldiers during one of the bloodiest battles of World War II in the Pacific. And he did it without ever carrying a weapon. The battle at Hacksaw Ridge on the island of Okinawa was a close combat fight with heavy weaponry. Thousands of American and Japanese soldiers were killed, and the fact that Doss survived the battle and saved so many lives has confounded and awed those who know his story, which got him to be the subject of a new film directed by Mel Gibson called Hacksaw Ridge. Doss saved 75 men, including his captain, Jack Glover, over a 12-hour period. The same soldiers who had shamed him now praised him. The movie Hacksaw Ridge, which had Andrew Garfield portraying the hero, really told his story well and how he saved not just 75 men, but generations of families. Oh, uh, I look when I watch that movie. Do we have context for, for, for my dog Yasuke? Little is known about the first black samurai, including his real name. However, we do know that he stood over six feet tall and arrived to Kyoto in 1579, already speaking a bit of Japanese. Shortly after his arrival, he met Oda Nobunaga, a powerful warlord on a mission to unite Japan and its divided Anunaga. provinces. Anunaga. Nobunaga, I, being very interested I, in this black Nobunaga. foreigner, quickly became friends and gave him his Japanese name, Yasuke. It wasn't long before Yasuke was speaking Japanese fluently and joining Nobunaga in battles. Given that the average no Japanese nigga. man at the time was 5'2", Yasuke <clears throat> towered over his enemies, solidifying him as the first ever black samurai to exist and inspiring several stories for years to come. So the first tall nigga on the planet, bet that. Oh, Yasuke won. Last one for this round. Oh my god. Let's try to speed run. Just spam the names. Let's try to speed one. Osama is getting a lot of votes here. We're going on Osama. That's tough. El Chapo or NBA Youngboy? El Chapo, that tough. Tupac or Martin Luther? MLK's Claren. John Jones at El Capone. Bit for another day. Marilyn Monroe, Barack Obama. It look like Obama. It look like Obama's winning in the chat. Albert Einstein or Kobe? Yo, Kobe shitting on Einstein in the chat. God damn. Oh, what are these matchups, bro? Michael Jordan or Bruce Lee? Pull up. We got to pull this one. Michael Jordan said I have a tough run on this one because you, you're going you're gonna to have LeBron James haters like, Le, I mean, LeBron James uh, fans <laughs> downvoting his ass, bro. So if he still somehow comes on top here, bro, Bruce Lee is up 56% to 44. GG. Michael Jordan's about to lose to Bruce Lee in an aura off. All right. Michael Jordan loses to Bruce Lee. That's tough. Y'all nigga, in my opinion, y'all nigga bugging, bro. I ain't gonna count. I hear Bruce Lee name. Yo, he was cool. I hear Michael Jordan name. It's like, oh shit, that's a goat right there. Michael Jordan lost, bro. You don't know ball. Look at this nigga. This nigga say you don't know ball. LeBron James fans are literally gonna always vote against them. That's tough, Jordan. You gonna have a hard time in anything, nigga. Kurt Cobain, hey, Biggie Smalls. What y'all going here, bro? I ain't gonna lie. A nigga like me going Biggie. I like this. Like yeah. This. Love it when you call me big
pop fuck. Throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. Bro, that, yo, come on, bro. Polar, bro. Yes, nigga, you seen Diddy, nigga. <laughs> 30 to 70, okay. Biggie got it, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Biggie got it for me, coach. Elon Musk, Ted Bundy. They, was, it, was the movie on this nigga good? Was that... Oh, what? Oh, y'all said Ted anyway. I didn't mean to click him. Ronaldinho or the White Death chat? Remember who the White Death was? The sniper. He had a whole nation terrified of him and celebrated when they finally thought they killed him and he read about his own death. Pull up. Who you got? They both got aura, bro. But having the name White Death is crazy, bro. Like, that's crazy. Oh, it's 50-50. <laughs> Why niggas is sucker so ass, bro? Tom Cruise Prince. Oh, my. Type in the chat. Thank you, Lord. Ronaldo Abraham Lincoln. Yo, Abraham Lincoln got that on him, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Abe Taller. How tall was Abraham Lincoln? 6'4". Jesus Christ. Ronaldo clears the whole list. Wait, pull up, bro. Pull up. What an impose. Ronaldo. Okay. Abraham Lincoln is losing to a football player. Let's get it. Let's get it. Malcolm X Tom Brady. Tom, you don't got or Oh, yeah, you do, but I'm going Malcolm, bro. I don't give a fuck what my chat say. Leonardo or Mike Tyson? I'm going Mike Tyson. I'm sorry, Juice. I love you. Usher or Paul Walker? Nigga, not me going Usher or IP Paulie. But I never seen Paul Walker take a nigga bitch like Usher do, bro. I ain't going to cap. And Usher was at the free calls. Paul Walker, easy. Walker had aura. He was cute. I liked his eyes. Sorry, my boy. You lost aura because of that. Can't send this to the barbs. You cannot send this to the barbs. You cannot send this to the barbs. I want to go Nikki, okay? I want to go Nikki. But these niggas don't want to go Putin. Yo, please, Nikki, 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 I love you, Nikki, I love you, Nikki, I love you, Nikki, I, they're putting me in a rock and a hard place, bro, I want to vote you, it's not my decision, though, it's my chat, they go in my chat, it's typing, look at my chat, it's not me, pull up, pull up, Putin or Nikki, personally, I say Nikki, I was there in person, my knees were shaking, my toes were trembling, never been on one knee for another woman, my, Jesus Christ, I didn't choose that, chat voted in a poll, 74% said, I choose Nikki, personally, me personally, is Nikki, this nigga murked his own brother, bruh. Zendaya, you're cooked. The Undertaker, Julius Caesar. I know we're gonna say King Julius, right? The Undertaker has feet that Julius Caesar hasn't, bro. One is fake, the other is real. Bro, I don't care what you say, bro. You see the Undertaker in real life, you're you're gonna feel his aura, bro. Julius is real, well, he's dead. So there's that. Undertaker and actor, buddy. Yeah, so is fucking Denzel fucking Washington. So what the fuck does that mean? Jesus is dead? No, he's not. He's alive in my heart. He's alive within all of us. And he's been the WWF champion before. Uh-oh. Well, the iconic bell. Motor the bowl. So the poll says Julius Caesar. <laughs> oh, that dick sucking for nothing. I own you. I own you, nigga. My dog shit talk when he down, nigga. Unlike some of y'all favorites, nigga. My dog shit talk when he down, nigga. My dog shit talk when he down, nigga. Unlike some of y'all favorites, nigga. You can't relate, ho ass nigga. The lob for Butler. He did it. Did you even make it to NBA? Butler put it in with three tenths of a second left. Did you make it to NBA? I mean, it is what it is. Jimmy six seven. Duke six two. Jimmy two hundred and like. 30 some pounds, do like 200. Jimmy, 2% body fat, do by 10. What the fuck, bro? Y'all niggas dick rotting, bro. Y'all niggas a dick rot. Y'all niggas is dick rotters, bro. Bro, if Jimmy was standing next to Duke in real life, he'd mog him. He'd mog him, especially in a tank top. Like, literally, like, in person shit. I don't even like relying on chat to vote, because y'all really about to say Playboy Cardi has more aura than Shakespeare. Oh my god, you niggas. Dick riders, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. My goats. My goats. My favorite actor. My favorite wrestler. GG's. 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 Boyaka. Boyaka. Six. Why not? Boyaka. 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 Bro. Pull up, bro. I just want to let you know there'll be no Playboy card without Shakespeare. I just want to let y'all know. Shakespeare's the original poet. The original. The original bars. The original everything. They're tied up in the pole right now, chat. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Denzel Washington. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this is good. This is good battles right here. Mohammed. Uh, sorry.
It's my goal. Alexander the Great, Pablo Escobar. Look, Alexander, understand? I love the shield. Love the shield. Love the sword. Love the abs. It wasn't Narcos on Pablo Escobar, bro? I watched a whole Netflix sh series on this nigga. Alexander do got statues, though, bro. If you have a statue of yourself, you're him. Bro, bro, does Pablo have a city named after him? Bro, Pablo changed his whole... Stop it, bro. We ain't gonna do that. I saw her Pablo Escobar sitting outside the White House while being the number two most wanted man by all world governments. <laughs> like, that's crazy, chat. Think about the context of that picture, bro. Here are some morbid facts about Pablo Escobar. In other countries, the mafia will sometimes make witnesses disappear so that they can't testify in court. But Pablo Escobar once made half the Supreme Court of Colombia disappear in the Palace of Justice siege in 1985. Throughout his career as a kingpin, Escobar was responsible for killing at least 4,000 people, including an estimated 200 judges and 1,000 police, journalists, and government officials. Escobar's personal hitman, John J. Velasquez, was responsible for around 3,500 of those murders. But he was released from prison in 2014 and afterwards became a popular YouTuber. What? Pablo was making so much money that he lost about 10% of his income due to rats and mold destroying the cash, amounting to around $2.1 billion per year. When Escobar's daughter wanted a unicorn for her birthday, he bought her a horse and stapled a cone to its head and wings to its back. The horse ended up dying from a horrible infection a few weeks later. At his luxurious estate in Puerto Triunfo, Escobar put together a private zoo filled with giraffes, hippos, elephants, and other animals. But after his death, four hippos were left unattended on the property and ended up thriving in the local environment. They ended up reproducing, and it's now estimated that there may be as many as 100 hippos roaming the surrounding areas, posing a massive invasive species threat for the local ecosystem. <laughs> Bro, what? Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the... Yo, 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 Alex. Fuck with you, gangy. If there was a, if you read those documents that I've read, if there's such thing as a real life supervillain in this day and age, with all the protection there is in this, it's Diddy, bro. Diddy is a is a real life living free super. Hey Jordan fans, you seen what they did to to to, to Jordan? Elvis, your coach, buddy. Pablo Escobar or the White Death. They say up streets. Barack Obama or Al Capone. Uh, the free world. You will get Osama and stop these tragedies from entering our country. Let's watch some Al Capone. The richest criminal in history for. Jesus Christ, I don't even know that fact off the rip. The richest criminal in history forgot where he buried the keys to his $1.5 billion fortune. Al Capone was known for his aggressive and violent tactics, such as blowing up stores who refused to buy alcohol from him. But on the other hand, these tactics led him to building a massive fortune. For example, one of his houses in Miami recently sold for $16.9 million. In order to keep his finances completely private, he stored a majority of his money in safety deposit boxes. Funnily enough, when he was sent to prison, not for criminal activity, but for tax evasion, he decided to bury the keys to these boxes that had all of his money. And when he was finally released seven years after arrest, he was very sick and suffered from dementia. He was very sick and suffered from dementia. Every spot he dug up, he found nothing. His relatives even hired a hypnotist to try to trick him into remembering where he buried his fortune. But the keys were never retrieved. But did he bomb Syria and Iraq though? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. I, I, I watched it. I just heard a rich nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I just heard a rich nigga. I was trying to see him catch some bodies or some shit. Did he kill Osama Bin Laden? The nigga who changed up the whole airport gang? Really? We letting just a rich nigga beat Obama? I'm vetoing. Don't care. I'm vetoing. Don't care. Don't give a fuck. Oh, my God. Genghis Khan, Ob Osama Bin Laden. I think we go Genghis here, bro. Genghis is him, bro. Bruce Lee or LeBron James? Bruce Lee or LeBron James? This is who Jordan lost to. Let's see. Let me see this one. I'm curious. You felt LeBron's aura? I did feel LeBron's aura. I did feel LeBron's aura. I did feel that shit. I'll tell you how I felt that shit. Oh, Bob. Bruce Lee's in the league. 
If Bruce Lee just demonor like that, taking out two, the two basketball goats, LeBron and Jordan, Bruce Lee beat Michael Jordan and LeBron James, bro. I'm over here thinking it was just just the LeBron haters, but no, Bruce Lee got 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 motion like that. Yo, damn, Bruce Lee might go to the phone. Oh, Bruce Lee gonna be up there, bro. Prince or Cristiano Ronaldo? You need to be more tired. I think no, I was hella tired then with Bruce Lee. I just that was just decades ago. You know how old that shit was, bro? Hey, let me see a poll. Hold on, I see a lot of mix. I see a lot of mixies. Hey, what? I see a lot of mixies. That's Hold a on. Big is he gay? <laughs> My niggas don't know who Prince is. 49 to 41 percent to 47.53, bro. But GG's is too late. Ronaldo wins. Yo, Ronaldo fans, y'all got lucky. Y'all lucky I let the poll go up before I started it. <laughs> before I played the music video. Look how close it is now. <laughs> I played the music videos and niggas was like, oh shit. It went to 49.51. When I started, it was 40.60. Repo, bro. If I repo, it's gonna be Prince, bro. It won't? Oh, I bet. Repo. Pull again. Pull again. Ronaldo clips? All right. You can watch Ronaldo clips and then pull it again. Hey. It's Ronaldo, beautiful side step, beautiful goal from Chris. It's Ronaldo! Pull up. One last poll. Best out of three. Prince got one, Ronaldo got one. Soccer is so ass. <laughs> nigga said soccer is so ass. Wait, hold on. If I really just watch a video of a nigga, y'all uh, niggas' opinions flip like that, bro? Why y'all like you didn't know who Ronaldo was before I played that montage? 52% Ronaldo right now, 48% Prince. Is it looking like it's gonna catch up or no? Do I call it here? Do I call it? I don't think they're catching up. It's getting bigger, if anything. <laughs> now they're saying call it. <laughs> it's close. Hold on, wait for, I'm waiting for it to run out. I'm waiting for it to run out. Oh my! Ronaldo wins! Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Ted Bundy, MLK. I had a dream. Oh my. oh my! Oh my God! I ain't gonna lie, Kobe has more aura to me. I'm not saying he's better, but he has more aura to me than Michael Jordan and LeBron to me. I ain't gonna lie. I don't really imagine what I'd feel if Kobe did bent over me like that the way LeBron did. I'd probably pass the fuck out. Oh my! Here, bitch is passing out, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Why they look alike? Let's get a Julius Caesar TikTok and a Vladimir Putin TikTok. Let's get some context. Julius Caesar is one of the most impressive and well-rounded men of all time. There's a story that when he was 32, he saw a statue of Alexander the Great and started crying. When his friend asked him why, he said that by his age, Alexander had conquered so many nations, but he himself had done nothing memorable. But eventually, Julius would become the most powerful man in Rome and arguably had more power than Alexander himself. He and his army fought against Vercingetorix in the Gallic Wars, and this was one of his most impressive victories. Then he came back to Rome and started a civil war against Pompey the Great, who during this time period was considered the greatest Roman general of all time. But Julius annihilated Pompey and had the most glorious victory of his career. After this, Julius would become dictator for life, be the most powerful man in Rome, had a baby with Cleopatra, and was bestowed Cleopatra. with countless honors. But he shortly- Cleopatra! Oh my god, he gave Cleopatra the Hams Hams, I forgot! After all of this, he was assassinated by members of the Senate and died at age 55. He's widely studied by a lot of people because... So he was lacking. Alright, give me a point and say tap. Who is Vladimir Putin? Loads of people are talking about him since Russia invaded Ukraine. He carefully crafts his image as a strong leader who rides horses shirtless, does loads of sport, and hangs out with gym goers and bikers. Putin was born in 1952 and grew up in a tough area in St. Petersburg in the northwest of Russia. He learned judo to defend himself and has a black belt. He became a spy and later became head of Russia's spying operations before becoming leader of Russia. He changed the rules so he can pretty much stay in power for as long as he wants. In Putin's Russia, opponents are assassinated or locked up, and he maintains power with a network of former spying allies and rich Russian elites. He's aggressively expanded Russian control, sending troops into countries like Georgia, Ukraine and Syria. Putin sees himself as a strong leader, and with opposition voices crushed, shows no sign of leaving the stage. Hey, he's still alive to tell the tale, ain't been assassinated, ain't get backdoored by his mans, because his mans too scared to do that, because they'll get killed. Alexander's clearing. Alexander is him, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, my. 
the Diddler or Malcolm X? Listen, I know Malcolm X was he was him, but like, did he have aura though? Listen, we're talking aura. We're talking aura. Now, who we like more? Did he invoke fear in bitches, bro? I think Malcolm X never had a free call. How many free calls Malcolm X had? How many free calls Malcolm X been a part of? The government wants this nigga. Diddy, Diddy's on the run, nigga. Malcolm X was killed by the government. Diddy got so much money, the government hasn't killed him yet. Watch that Diddy Joker vid IT hits now. What what Diddy Joker vid? Tyler the Great! (laughs) Tyler, you are my favorite rapper in the world! I know he blew Tyler the Creator back out. I know he fought that nigga at least once. He looked beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, no. This is top tier. Bro, he probably fought that nigga in that costume that same night, bro. Stuck his cane up his ass. Oh, boy. I'll never look at Kim Jong Un the same after after that whole assassination his brother video we saw, bro. Bro, see now y'all are just not even being serious, bro. This is why I don't like doing shit. Y'all niggas don't. I can't even. Yo, pull up, bro. Kim Jong Un banned niggas in Korea from wearing the same jacket as him. <laughs> bro, what? What? Nigga came out the same drip. In North Korea, you gotta have a picture of him in your house. You're lying. Kim Jong Un is up 55 <laughs> percent. Yo, bro, play Duke Riz. I'm just not playing Duke Riz, bro. Fuck out of here, Biggie. That's tough. You're going against the goat. Playboy Cardi or Odell Beckham. Nigga wanna see me fall, yeah. Talking dollar with my goal, yeah. Nigga wanna see me fall. Stephen Curry, how I ball. All we talk about is cash, cash, rack, bills. Models in the band, oh, is it anywhere that we can't go, man? Need you to the- Fuck, but this nigga's gay. This nigga's a queer, bro. This nigga's gay as fuck. Please click. What is this? If this is him, I kill myself. Even if it was him, that's fire, bro. You, I fuck with the whole music shit, but I could never get down with the homosexual vampire shit. I never understood what's the, how y'all niggas got brainwashing to thinking that shit was cool. Messi is destroying the chat right now. We're going messy. Mike Tyson, Malcolm X. Mike Tyson is clearing Malcolm X. I don't even blame you. It's Aura. Oba. Now who you like more? It's Aura. It's an Aura off chat. What the fuck? El Chapo about to beat. But in a way, who strikes fear into your heart? There's different types of Aura. Duke don't strike fear into niggas heart. It's just like Aura. Like like this like Aura is not always fear. Aura is Aura. There's good Aura, bad Aura. We going MLK, MLK1. Pull up, bruh. Bruce Lee or Genghis Khan? Genghis Khan is clearing. Jesus Christ or Messi? We got more aura chat. Bro, atheist watching this be so pissed, bro. Jesus is winning the poll, 7 8 to 22. Oh, 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 oh. Michael Jackson or Cristiano Ronaldo? Chat, pull up. Michael Jackson's clearing. Ronaldo got wiped. El Chapo. Pablo Escobar. Uh, Bye, people. Pop, it looks like, it's looking like Pablo, though. It's looking like a Pablo. Pablo just cleared Obama. Pablo cleared of Obama. 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 Hitler or Genghis Khan? Hitler won. Martin Luther King or Pablo Escobar? I had a dream. They got Pablo beating my goat. They got Pablo beating my goat in the chat. My goat lost to Pablo Escobar. My goat just lost to Pablo fucking Escobar. Michael Jackson or Julius Caesar? Oh, wait. Michael Jackson is clearing Julius Caesar. He bad Cleopatra. He bad Cleopatra. 80 to 20. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, uh. oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, 
What the fuck is this? Ob du glaubst, dass ich fleißig gewesen bin, dass ich gearbeitet habe, dass ich mich in diesen Jahren für dich eingesetzt habe, dass ich anständig meine Zeit verwendet habe im Dienste meines Volkes. Gib du jetzt deine Stimme ab. Wenn ja, dann tritt für mich ein, so wie ich für dich eingetreten bin. The fuck? With all that said and now, can we... Can before there's no confusion, can we all admit Hitler was a bitch? Fuck Hitler, can we get a fuck Hitler in the chat? Hitler K, nobody supports Hitler in here. It's fuck Hitler. Everything he stand for. Can I get a fax, please? Can I get a fax? Fuck Hitler in the chat, please? So nobody's confused and clicked out of content. It's fuck Hitler, nobody likes Hitler. We're having a discussion about how evil he was. The most evil people on the planet. So it's a, it's a most evil people versus most good, you know what I'm saying? Who was worse, who was better with the aura and shit. So can we, can we got, can I get a fuck Hitler in the chat? It is say you're blocked. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you mean I'm blocked, bro? Michael Jackson is about to wash Hitler, bro. Can we can we clap it up for YRG? <laughs> Hitler reign has ended. Hitler's bitch ass, Hitler's anti-Semitic ass, has been dethroned by the goat. By the one and only Michael Jackson. Let me get a round of applause for Michael Jackson the GOAT. Let me get a round of applause for Michael Jackson the fucking GOAT. Hitler is top three all time in aura. He felt he's at number three. Now who will be number one? Why the fuck do I see a nigga saying MJ? Michael Jackson, you will get second place to the one and only true GOAT of the world. Of life. We know who winning, but watch. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hitler needed gas to do this shit. My goat Michael, he was just looking at motherfuckers. Fuck Hitler. Hitler's not him. His presence, his aura was having motherfuckers pass out. Oh, Th this is the soul definition. GG, what's this? <laughs> This is out of context. This is out of context. This is out of context. <laughs> Why'd he jump like that? What are you doing, Josh? Oh, no, I'm out. Yeah, no, nah, he's too deep in. Oh, God. No, 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 I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Yo, hold on, I gotta call this nigga. No, I gotta call this nigga. Hey, then! Hey, then! Why Arden jump back like he just seen his greatest enemy nigga? I am crying. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, that's. Bro, that's horror, bro. Like, I'm just telling you, though. Know, that's how evil that what? nigga. That's how evil that nigga was. <laughs> Wait! That is, that is his greatest enemy, nigga. That is, who, who, what greater enemy does, does Aiden have, bro? Yo, we gotta talk, bro. We about to talk, nigga. There's context, right? So, Hello? yes, there's context, bitch. Listen. No, look at my look at my phone. You see what it says? It's this website called Uwu Fufu, and you can make, like, tier list type shit. I'm on the final round right now. It's Jesus Christ versus Michael Jackson. It was top aura of all time, and Hitler made it pretty far. And so it was Hitler versus Michael Jackson. And so niggas sent me clips to watch from MJ aura clips, and then niggas sent me Hitler aura clips. And I had to watch it so the chat could make a decision. And luckily, thank God, Michael Jackson cleared Hitler. Because it's Hitler K, right? Fuck Hitler. We don't support Hitler around here. And I write Aiden Ross. Right? But when you did see that clip, I ain't gonna lie, you did, you did, you you jump, you jump like you just seen a ghost, my boy.
You jumped like you just seen death in his face. I didn't know what to expect. It was scary. What do you think? <laughs> Wait, what was scary about it? Hitler's a very scary man. He has scary aura, bro. All right, fuck up my phone. <laughs> Why niggas saying? Okay, y'all need to stop thinking aura is good all the time, bro. He has scary energy. He has a scary quality of air. Michael Jackson. GG's, buddy. You lost to the one true goat, Jesus Christ. It is good. Second place is not bad, of course. You are number two all time in aura, Michael Jackson. Let's let's give it a round of applause for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There's no one on this planet that can stop me. I can call in a favor and send people who aren't from this planet. Set Yo, what the f <laughs> No, I hate TikTok. I hate TikTok. I hate TikTok. What the fuck, Demaje, what the hell is this? Then you gotta do a rap, do a hip hop beat. So I gave my summon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my nigga. I wish him well, but if you live in sin, you burn in hell. Said I'm on three plus right now, if I'm being honest. Hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket. Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really on it. Look at you just window shopping that new bag I bought.